How you doing, folks? This is Ron from Ron's Beers. I got a beer for you today. I'm showcasing the Baxter Brewing Company Stowaway IPA. It's a 6.9 ABV with 69 international bitter units. If you can read this label, it's not the light's not flashing off it. So it sounds like a kind of a hoppy beer, 69 international bitter units, but it is an IPA. And uh, it is from Maine. Here's a little info on it right Now on it, it's Baxter Brewing Company, which is a Maine-based craft brewery, which is the first, first of its kind in New England to can all of its beer. It's located in Bates Mill in the up-and-coming community of Lewis, Lewiston slash Auburn, Maine. Uh, Baxter Brewing Company currently distributes its flavorful and unique craft beers in the New England area pretty well right now. As we're talking uh, New England, basically, you know, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Uh, the brewery features an in-house retail shop and a tap room where you can purchase our beer and some other stuff they have there. And they have tours and tastings, regular special events that they have there. Uh, so you get a chance to go there if you're in the location of uh, Maine or New Hampshire or Massachusetts. Uh, in Rhode Island, I mean, if you're visiting from another state, uh, the West Coast, uh, visit this fine brewery. Uh, this plan for this brewery started in 2009 uh, with a gentleman named Luke Livingston. When he was at Clark University, he started brewing craft beer, uh, I imagine. I think maybe in his dorm. I'm not positive on that, but uh, because of um, him, Clark University now has a rule in place banning brewing in the dorms. So, I guess uh, that's the story right there. But uh, it's, a, it's a big story of how he eventually came to be. But it seems to be like a nice brewery that they have there. And, um, well, with no further ado, let's uh, talk about this this uh, fine beer looking beer here as far as the can goes. And uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, this Baxter Stowaway, this, it's an Ind Indian Pale Ale. It's available year-round. Um, and like I said, it's 6.9 ABV with um, one, no correction, 69 international bidder units. So uh, let's see if we can find uh, some information on this stowaway. I mean, it's a year-round beer. Uh, this, fla so this is actually Baxter's flagship, flagship stowaway Indian Peel. It's the flagship IPA. I mean, it put Maine on the IPA map in 2011 when they brewed this uh, <laughs> skeleton beer. And there's been no looking back with this double dry hopped. We're close to 500 pounds of hops per batch. You get that? 500 pounds of hops per batch. And this Stowaway IPA from Baxter. Stowaway's bitter character is, of course, enticing for any veteran hop head. I guess you would have to with that kind of, this sounds like a really hoppy beer. Uh, but the solid malt backbone makes this beer approachable enough and drinkable enough for any beer drinker to tackle. Even with its don't mess with me, 6.9, close to eight, 7 ABV percent, uh, to top it all off, after a long full three weeks in the tanks, <laughs> three weeks, uh, yes, soaked up those hops. This full-bodied beer has a dry, crisp, and I like that. Like all the lagers have that crisp finish, and virtually unheard of in this style. And I agree, on IPAs and ales, you don't get that crisp finish. Uh, you get that kind of bitterness in the back of the throat. But again, it's no wonder Stowaway is the best-selling main ma made IPA. It's a tongue twister. Main made IPA. Main made. <laughs> so, in Maine, it's as far as this IPA, it's the best-selling. Um, it's selling pretty good in the Northeast. It pairs best now with the foods, the pairings, spicy Thai or curry dishes, carrot cake. Now, there you go. This goes with good with carrot cake. Big earthy cheeses like stilton or aged cloth-bound cheddar. I like cheddar. I uh, never heard of that before, cloth-bound cheddar. But uh, it sounds good, at least. And this beer sure sounds good. Um... Uh, so with no further ado, let's uh, crack the top, see what it looks like. If we have to can, again, you can all 
pause this. Need B. And I hope I haven't shaken it up too much. Bold, complex flavors with a solid malt backbone and assertive hop profile. 300, 300 pounds a batch, along with cold conditioning. Then the cold conditioning sounds like uh, the way. I mean, that's where they make lagers. So that's, that's funny how they have the cold conditioning. Give this beer its crisp, clean finish. There you go. There you go. Just like a, a lager. Okay. But no further ado, let's get a glass out here. You got a glass. <coughs> got a nice kind, of, I guess it's called a tulip shaped glass, I guess. But, anyways, it was a gift from uh, Mary Mac Ales. Me and my loving wife went to Mary Mac Ales up there in Lowell, Mass. <coughs> okay, we'll talk about the beer. We'll clean this top off a bit. There's some debris. <laughs> I don't know what be there, but you never know. All right. Okay. No further ado, let's get that in the glass. Yeah, just trying to get the aroma of this beer. I like the way it looks. Now, there we go. There we go. It's a nice looking beer. I like it. Get the drone up. Get the beer over here. There we go. And uh, mix size bubbles. Starting to get a creamy on the top part of the photo you're seeing here. So I, can put my th I can't see my fingers through it, so it's kind of opaque. Uh, as far as the st style of the, the actual beer itself, it's um, dark amber. Uh, nice head on it. I like, I mean, you could take a, a picture like that and uh, zoom right in here. And uh, yeah, it is. It's a good looking beer. Yeah, it's opaque there. But, anyways, with that said, Let's uh, get uh, some aroma, see what they have for aromas in this beer. Ah, uh, you know, it's a good, good smelling beer. Not overly on the hops, like, uh, uh, definitely not like the New England juice bomb. So it's not in that category, even though it's a New England IPA, it's not a New England juice bomb, for sure. The look and the aroma. It does smell fruity, though. I must admit, it smells fruity, somewhat like the juice bombs, but not as strong. All right, enough of my sniffing on the glass here. Let me try it. Tasty. The malt does come through. Balances with the, the hops. Leaves a slight bitterness towards the back, but not bad. Not bad. Nice. It's a nice beer. It's enjoyable. Definitely drinkable. Mm. And uh, it would go would go good with the the foods that they mentioned, as far as the spicy. Thai food and uh, cheeses, cheddar cheese. Yes, it would definitely go good with that. I like it. I haven't seen any other reviews on this, and there probably is. I just don't look at reviews before I do mine. And uh, it's an enjoyable beer. Uh, I'd give this three and a half to four out of five. Three and a half. Uh, Everyday beer, uh, probably not, not everyday drinking beer, but uh, definitely something I would like, definitely like to uh, serve to my friends and family 
Uh, I know they would enjoy it. I would buy it again. Yes, I would buy it again. If I was being, like I say, an everyday, no. But it's nice. I like this beer. Uh, we can brew thanks to you. Cheers. I like that. That's nice. We can brew thanks to you. So this is uh, Baxter Brewing Company. I don't Maine, Auburn, Maine, and uh, if you got a chance to be in the New England area, uh, it goes as far west as New York, the distribution. With that said, I hope all, you all had a good Thanksgiving, and uh, all enjoyed being with the family. I know I did, and uh, with that said, uh, I want to hope my daughter, that's many states away, I uh, had a, had a good Thanksgiving. So with that said, folks, I hope you all like I say had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, today after Thanksgiving, uh, we scan in the television for some college football games. If not, well, then it's back to working downstairs on fixing all the old furniture. <laughs> I'd rather do the football game, college football games. All right, folks, uh, have a good day. Sunny here in New England. It's about 41 degrees, 40 degrees. Nice day outside to be outside. A uh, bit breezy, but it's not raining. So that is a big plus for us New Englanders. It's not raining. Ground is kind of wet. It's still wet. Well, I won't take up any more time. Enjoy your day, folks. Ciao.